So this is what kind of Baphomet is meant to represent. However, if we want to talk about, you know, the church and we want to talk about the establishment and blah, 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 they love using Baphomet to represent the devil. I don't see it that way personally. Uh, the devil is uh, represented by Capricorn. So uh, it's by Danny Mystic. She is a YouTuber. And I just wanted to show you this devil here. Well, hello everyone. Welcome. I'm Katie and this is the importance of temperance and yeah. Get excited! We're here for the devil! Get excited because I finally managed to sit down and do <laughs> this video. Apologies, it's taken uh, a bit. I have been a bit lax with keeping up with my top tarot trumps. Grab yourself a cuppa, I've got a green tea. Hope you're all doing super well wherever you are in the world. I'm sitting out on my veranda as per usual, it's a little bit windy today, so you will hear all the uh, winds in our palm trees, or the golden cane trees. All right, so, uh, the devil, which I have got the Marseille Rider Waite Smith, and I have got the Thoth version here, just to show you. Um, the devil. Now, for me, the devil kind of is one of those cards that represents and i'm just going to say it evil i mean to me the devil is all about those things obviously that we are attracted to that are harmful to us all those things those traps those bad habits that we keep kind of going back to that we can't break away from addictions i guess and this stubbornness because the devil is uh, represented by capricorn so if we want to have a look at the the star sign and 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 what capricorn represents it actually represents hard work it's uh it's actually represents ambition and trying to be the best you possibly can capricorns are also very 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 stubborn and once they get their mind set on something that's the way they do it it's very rare that they are open to different ways of doing things so i guess the association with the devil can be that you are trapped in the same way of doing things you know and you're not open to deviating from that path which results in us not being able to see the bigger picture and just keep on going back to doing the same thing over and over and not setting us free but as i said initially to me it's also about evil because I am a true believer that in this world there are evil people at work and they do evil and they worship the devil and I truly believe that and I truly believe that there are higher forces at play here because we are spiritual beings there is the light and there is the darkness and yes the darkness is absence of light but if you live in darkness and you don't want to introduce light and you don't want to follow the light and follow the things that are good for you, you are then held captive by the darkness. When this card pops up for me, it's usually about either my own incapability of dealing with my demons or my bad habits. It usually represents what's happening on the world stage. I'm just going to say it, guys, because that's the truth. I hardly ever uh, interpret this card as a personal thing it's always uh, about the forces surrounding me so to speak so yeah a very interesting card the devil it's funny because when you watch any movies or any series when they want to scare you they kind of always show you the death card and the devil card in the tarot so having said that why I have these two here is because now we're going to get into the cards that are my five top fave devil cards. Now, one of them is from the Zillage Tarot, and this is because this little devil here, <laughs> this is so fun. Um, this is a Thoth inspired deck, so it kind of represents this image here. 
So as you can see, there is that phallic symbol, you know, and the those ones. I don't know if I can say these things on on YouTube without being censored. I don't know. But there is that symbol behind with um the horned the horned devil, the third eye, and this one here is a more play on Baphomet, I guess, because Baphomet is meant to represent, and a lot of people interpret this as the devil, but Baphomet per se is a representation of the masculine and the feminine elements and energies combining into one, because at the end of the day, in the whole of the universe, there is masculine and feminine, but those genders do reconcile and come together to form a wholeness, a union. So this is what kind of Baphomet is meant to represent. However, if we want to talk about, you know, the church and we want to talk about the establishment and blah, 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 they love using Baphomet to represent the devil. I don't see it that way personally. I see it as a representation initially as it was designed uh, by the occultists in their societies to represent that coming together of the forces of masculine and feminine, positive and negative, light and darkness, to create wholeness. But this here kind of reminds me of the celebration of life, right? Because at the end of the day, it's about the creative forces. You know, here these people are, are trapped and they just want to get out of there to go live life. And this card does a great job of representing that we are allowed to live life and enjoy it and have fun and go out there and have a party and to be obviously wise to not going too overboard because when you go overboard <laughs> you risk to fall into the trap of addiction or you know doing stupid things and regretting them later on so celebrate life don't go overboard kind of thing but I love this I think it's a fun card I like the way it's kind of all dressed up it's got the little glove there it's reminding us you know having fun and celebrating life so that is Zilich Tarot is my first devil and this one here is the Tarot of Marseille devil you over here and I have this because the other deck, this is the Tarot de Marseille, which is the Piatnik deck that I got off Amazon. And it is not a dud, it's actually the way it comes. And it's called the Piatnik deck because it is published by Piatnik in Vienna. It's really good quality. The devil is this devil here. <laughs> now the reason why I love this deck is because that's kind of what all of the cards look like they meant to look like this and they're woodblock prints and they are kind of photocopies of those woodblock prints and they look all a bit weird so this is to show you kind of what the clear up version looks like <laughs> I just think it's fantastic I love the way they've covered up the genitalia kind of situation there I just find it super fun yeah and I love this deck I'm not someone who knows a lot about Tarot Amos. I'm not an expert. I have a couple of decks and don't really follow the Tarot MSA system. I just read them intuitively mainly. And basically the RWS attributes to the majors at least. And the minors, you know, the pips are all about numerology. But yeah, I thought that was super fun. <laughs> I just love it's not perfectness you know what i mean le diable so that was my second devil from the piatnik deck apology about these noises um, traffic goes past and they're like crazy noisy Alrighty. my next one is the majors only deck this is yasin guzlev tarot i've talked about this uh, a lot it's a little Bell deck this is um, a special edition that they came out with and it's based on the tarot of the third millennium and this is all Yasin Guzlev's artwork and this is the devil I just I mean this deck is just amazing the major arcana and how they're drawn the artwork is just absolutely phenomenal I mean the detail and it's got this little star here 
pinned to him with a security pin, this little medal, which is the five-pointed star. And then he's got the sign of Mercury there. And the two people <laughs> under his feet on, in this cube, in this box. And just, it's, oh, it's fantastic. Look at his face with his wings and his pitchfork. And I love the way he's holding his tail. Oh, just stunning, stunning artwork. So that's my third devil by Yasin Guzlev. And my fourth one is this one here, <laughs> Tower of Crowley. Um, this is by Christoph James, Indy, and <laughs> of course, of course he's the devil, <laughs> Alistair Crowley. <laughs> of course he's the devil. And um, like there's a raven in there, and then there's this creature of the abyss, Alistair Crowley, the devil himself. And there's all these kind of knives falling down here, raining down on him. Not entirely sure where that place is. I just think this deck's hilarious. It's not a Thoth. Uh, inspired deck it's an actually RWS inspired deck and I just love the way that this deck kind of mainly takes the piss like everyone demonizes Crowley and thinks he's the devil and, and I mean at the end of his life he became absolutely obsessed by the darkness but he didn't start off that way and that's my point of the devil he actually got sucked in to black magic because if you do go and read about his philosophies and his ideas initially when he was part of the secret societies and stuff like that and occultism it was all influenced by madame blavatsky and what was happening in the 1800s at the turn of the century there's all these innovations all these new ideas coming into society and it's it started off with with trying to pass on positive teachings but then he got corrupted and then he, he actually started worshipping the devil, he actually started calling on demons and he started off um, hanging out with all these people in high places. Don't know if any of you know but he was hanging out with the guy who started or founded NASA and they were practicing black magic calling on demons to get NASA founded and he was part of that crew back in the day when he went over to America. Anyway. So <laughs> that was the Tower of Crowley and he is the actual devil in this deck, which I love. It's a bit of fun. And then last but not least, I think this is kind of one of my absolute favorite devils. Um, this is the Lightseer's Terror from Chris Ann. And I think this devil is absolutely stunning. I can't even describe what this you know the emotions it provokes wow just wow it is beautiful it is stunning it is poignant it is everything that you need from a devil the hooded figure here with his hands over his ears not wanting to listen his head down not wanting to see how by these really fine threads that would be so easily snapped off just the way he puts out his hand Come hither, and the expression is quite mesmerizing, isn't he? Oh, it's just, oh, wow. It's absolutely fantastic. My favorite devil of all time is from the Light Seer's Tarot. Wow, absolutely wow. Now, just gonna do a quick honorable mention. This is one of these decks that I don't really reach for or show much just because it's quite sort of dark and it, it's hard to see sometimes. It's by Danny Mystic. She is a YouTuber and I just wanted to show this devil here. I just like the darkness of it. See like he's whispering sweet nothings into her ear and he's kind of like all hidden and you can't really see him. And then down here, I don't know if you can see, but he's got his little cloven footsies here and there's a chain there. I just think that's a perfect interpretation of the devil by Danny Mystic in her Mystic Masters. 
I also love the font of these cards and the little sign, uh, the astrological sign here. Yeah, so there you have it, my friends. Finally got to do the devil card with you all. It has been interesting and fun and I kind of find it fascinating how content creators represent the devil and how many different ways there is to represent the devil and the devil is also something that we kind of create ourselves isn't it at the end of the day we can very much set ourselves free from him or from those demons and the darkness that pursues us all right guys thank you very very much for hanging out with me and until my next one ciao Wendy.